Hi mates and welcome back to my World of Tanks channel. I'm Antonov too as usual and today I've got a bit of a kind of special video. I haven't done one like these before yet, but we'll be talking about my picks for the top five best tank lines in the game. Now this is not about the best tier 10 tanks. I've done a few tier lists like those, but this is a lot about the grind to get to the tier 10 tank. Although obviously the effectiveness of the tier 10 vehicle will also count towards the rating that each tank line receives in this video, it's more about telling you which lines will be the most enjoyable to play through to reach that tier 10. Because a lot of the time you'll spend actually a lot more games playing the tanks leading up to tier 10 than the actual tier 10 vehicle. So it is pretty important to know which lines will be enjoyable and which won't, and that will maybe help especially new players and undecided players to determine which tech tree to research first. So starting things off at number five, we'll be looking at the German tech tree, and for me, the fifth best grind in the game is the German tank destroyer line leading up to the Jagdpanzer E100. Now I just want to say as a short disclaimer at this point that I haven't played every tank in the game yet. I've played many tanks that I do not own on the test server, so I've got a pretty good idea, but obviously there's a lot of personal bias in this video and it's just my personal recommendation for you guys. So the reason I sprung for this tank story line is, well the Marder 2 is a pretty good vehicle, although it's been nerfed quite often, it still is enjoyable and the Hetzer, I haven't played the Marder 38T, but if you choose to play the Hetzer, the Hetzer is a really nice tank with a great 10.5mm gun. It is really good at one-shotting enemies, and uh, I can definitely recommend the Hetzer. Stug 3G is also a pretty nice tank. The only vehicle in this line that is kind of a letdown is the Jagdpanzer IV, which, I mean, it's not terrible. I did a review on this vehicle as well. It's not particularly great. The Jagdpanzer is a very nice vehicle. I haven't played the Ferdinand that much a few times on the test server, but it seems to be a pretty sturdy tank. Got a few buffs recently as well. The Jagdpanzer II definitely is amazing. I can say the Yak Tiger is probably one of my favourite tier 9 vehicles and I guess the Yak Panzer E100 kind of speaks for itself. So all in all this is a very solid line with no tanks that really stand out and say I am amazing except for maybe the Yak Tiger at tier 9 but also no vehicles that are really terrible and disappointing except for maybe the Yak Panzer 4. So all in all you have a very easy time grinding, especially because lots of the stock grinds are not too tricky in this line as well. So overall, a very solid line and you can't really go wrong if you're looking for a good tank story grind. The fourth best line to grind out is probably the Soviet heavy tank line going through the T-28, the KV-1, then going to the KV-1S, the KV-85, the IS, IS-3, T-10 and IS-7. Now this might be a bit awkward because you have to research two tier 5 vehicles, but I think it's worth it. The KV-1 is a very nice vehicle, probably one of the best tanks tier for tier in the game with great armour and a pretty decent gun. I haven't really played the new KV-1S, but it seems to be pretty decent. The KV-85 definitely is solid. Honestly, the IS was probably one of the tanks I had the most fun with so far in the game. A really nice vehicle and I mean the IS-3 is really famous it is probably I mean it definitely is one of the best tanks tier for tier in the game it is really fun perfectly rounded tank good mobility an awesome gun and you cannot really go wrong with a vehicle for me I'll definitely keep it even after I've researched for T-10 now the T-10 I'm not so sure about this tank I mean it's got a great gun and good maneuverability and mobility characteristics but the armour is just really underwhelming for a heavy tank in my opinion. Still, I imagine it is a lot of fun to play. I think it's actually a pretty nice tank overall. Just the armour is kind of something you have to get used to because it's more like medium tank armour, especially in the hull. And then finally the IS-7. Now, the IS-7 is a pretty 
niche kind of vehicle. It just caters to the expectations of a certain kind of player, and that is being a bully, being up front in the front line. And if that's the kind of thing that appeals to you, then this line will definitely be the way to go for you. Some of the stock grinds can be pretty painful along the way, but overall, the tanks, especially when they are elited, are a real blast to play throughout the line with no real weak link after tier 5. Even tier 4 is a pretty nice vehicle. Number 3 spot will go to the American medium tanks leading up to the M48 pattern. And the reason for this decision is because the tanks throughout the tech tree are solid all round vehicles that will perform well in any situation really and hardly ever let you down. The M3 Lee, many people find this tank very painful, I actually did not think it was too bad, but I guess it is not the best start for this line. However, the M4 is absolutely amazing, with a great howitzer gun that basically one-shots anything at tier 4. Then you can decide between the Easy 8 and the Sherman Jumbo. I went with the Sherman Jumbo. I really enjoy this vehicle and the Easy 8 is a great tank as well. The T20 also, not uh, too spectacular but also not bad and just a solid tier 7 medium tank. Many tier 7 tanks are kind of underwhelming but the T20 really is pretty solid. The Pershing obviously known to be an all-rounder with no outstanding capabilities in any respect but also not letting you down on, on any stat and really a tank you cannot go wrong with. The M46 got pretty nice buffs recently and now actually is not a bad tank at all and obviously the M48 pattern with getting pretty massive buffs in patch 9.13 now is one of the better tier 10 medium tanks in my opinion and definitely a force to be reckoned with on the battlefield. I'm grinding like mad to get this vehicle, I can't wait to get my hands on the pattern. In my opinion after tier 5 you will not have any bad experiences in this tank line and if medium tanks is what you're looking for then the M48 pattern and the tanks leading up to it are just very solid all round vehicles which will not disappoint you. Then as we move up to number 2, actually we'll stay in the American tech tree and look at the heavy tank line leading up to the T110E5. Now I would personally recommend going through the M4 and the Sherman Jumbo for the reason that you have to split up later on in the tech tree allowing you to save quite a bit of experience provided that you also want to get the M48 pattern. And as I already said, these two vehicles here are pretty solid. The T29 is an amazing tank, probably my favourite tier 7 tank, although the IS is also pretty nice. But the T29 was definitely a blast to play. It got even better when I moved up to the T32. Probably among my top 3 tanks tier for tier in the game. Amazing tank to play. I'm really enjoying the grind on the M103. Amazing tank no inherent weaknesses, quite a few decent strengths like pretty solid armour capabilities on the front and an amazing gun and then at tier 10 we have the pretty famous T110E5, just a great jack of all trades, very very decent heavy tank and you cannot really go wrong with this line at all and the grind is one of the most, well as I said the second most enjoyable in the game in my opinion. So drum roll, let's get to the best grind in my opinion in the game and that we find in the Soviet tree if we look at the vehicles leading up to the Object 140. Now it kind of depends on your personal preference if you like brawling and a bit rely more reliable armour then maybe actually even the Object 430 would be better for you but no matter which of these two tanks you choose or even maybe the T62A the vehicles leading up to the tier 10 Soviet medium tanks are nothing short of amazing. The only recommendation I have for you is to research these going through the A43, the A44 and the Object 416. Now things start off already at tier 2, 3 and 4 with some pretty solid light tanks but at tier 5 you play the T34 which is one of the best tier 5 medium tanks in my opinion. Then. If you follow my recommendation and research for A43, actually I thought I would be really let down by this vehicle, but it positively surprised me. It does not look too impressive just looking at the stats, but 
it performs very very nicely and it's kind of a hybrid between medium and light tank even and it's just real blast to play the a44 is a complete change with a bit of a trollish gun and you feel like a shotgun on tracks basically but it is also a lot of fun to play great armor capabilities and very high damage on the main gun and then finally we reach tier 8 with object 416 i just recently did a review on this tank check that out if you want more information but i will say this the object 416 is at the moment probably hands down my favorite tank tier for tier in the game this vehicle is so good it's got the highest alpha damage and the highest dpm of any tier 8 medium tank it just is so so good it is unbelievable it's really fast okay it's got bad armor and cannot turn the turret completely but the, the pros of this vehicle more than compensate for that now for the purpose of this video i will talk about the t54 because i think it's slightly superior to the object 430 version 2. the t54 is an amazing tank especially if you're prepared to invest some money in gold ammo this vehicle is in my opinion probably now the second best tier 9 tank after the amx 30 first prototype or some people actually think the t54 is even better than the prototype so that means it will be the best tier 9 tank it is really really good a lot of fun to play a bit of a painful stock grind but uh except for that it's definitely worth picking up and a keeper and then all three of these tier 10 vehicles are some of the most fun to play at tier 10 with probably the object 140 being the best and the t62a kind of being left behind by the object 430 having good armor and better mobility and better dpm than it so still you can't really go wrong with any of these three tanks and let me just point out that the object 430 version 2 is also a great vehicle one other thing i just wanted to say is that the grind through the light tanks here if light tanks are something you really enjoy playing then the grind through the m25 leading up to the t54 lightweight and also the lttb these are three very very solid vehicles uh, some of the best light tanks tier for tier in the game and is this definitely recommendable the only reason why i prefer the upper line is because it takes you through this amazing object 416 which is the best tank in the game tier for tier in my opinion so there you have it that's my opinion but of course it is only my view so please share your input in the comments i'm really interested to see what in your opinion are the easiest and most fun grinds in the game i can't wait to read through all the comments anyway thanks for watching this video i hope it was helpful and maybe even entertaining for you guys please don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed and maybe even subscribe and i'll see you in my next video goodbye Thank <laughs> you.